Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oma. I am glad to have you on my channel today. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, hello. If you've been an old subscriber, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support. I do not take it for granted. Today, I have come to teach about the problem that humans face. You know, many people come to my WhatsApp to tell me that it looks like now is um, worse than in the olden days. That in the olden days there were no problems, everyone was fine, this and that, the other one. No. There were problems. There were sicknesses. But our forefathers embraced nature. They knew that for you to activate the four angels of nature, which is the water, the earth, the air, and the sun's fire element, you must embrace these natures. They discovered the truth. They knew that there is no connection without you there is no connection to the creator of the whole universe god without you passing through the elements of nature when god said let us create man in our own image and likeness it is these archangels angel michael angel gabriel angel uriel and angel raphael are the Oshimili. That is the water element, the air element, the fire struck sun, and the earth. All these archangels, their English name, their evil name is Anyamu Oshimili. Anyamu stroke of Oko, that is Amadioha. Oshimiri, that is water. No Oshimiri, that is water. The earth in the one and the air, Arabinago. The spirit of the air. Let us not confuse ourselves. There is no how man would have come without passing through nature. Nature is the earth, that is the sand. That is why God created man using sand in the first place. This is why there is percentage of water. This your eye that you used to see, you, you use it to see. If a man becomes blind, there is, there is nothing like lightning except the spiritual lightning. These eyes enables you to see using the sun energy. Without the air, you won't be breathing. All these elements live in us, dwell in us. If we know the importance of the elements of nature, we should not be fighting it. Elements of nature is God. God is nature. When you want to pass through and get to God, you have to pass through these energies. Because these energies are messengers through which you will get to the Creator. If you commit any atrocity against any of these energies it becomes very difficult for you to get to the Creator your your prayers will never get to God because they will never put yours at the front let us acknowledge nature nature is not evil and can never be evil 
Our forefathers embraced nature, converted all the leaves, all the, 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 all the leaves they see in the bush, they converted it into herbs. They were drinking it, they were using it to cure any kind of sickness. They were taking care of them. They used it to prevent themselves from certain things. If you say that there was never problems, how do you think that came, um, the deities we are talking about today came to be? It is still the wisdom of our forefathers that made them to seek for more knowledge from the spirits. Because the truth is that because of incarnation, because of incarnation, the spirits dwell among us. Because we are spirits. You don't know how many you have reincarnated, how many times you have reincarnated. Another person must have reincarnated for the, with the purpose of revealing things. This is why I have come to tell you that if you have committed an abortion or you have supported an abortion or you have given out money for an abortion, this is a great hindrance. You have broken aquali um. You have broken the egg of fertility. Therefore, you have to appease the egg of fertility. If you do not appease it, it will affect you. Let me tell you, many people will be like, I am doing very well in life. I have money. I'm very rich. I mean, let me tell you, money is not everything. It could be peace of mind. It could be in your marriage. It could be health-wise. There are several ways that all these things can affect one. If you handle it in a good way, it will become a thing of the past. If you have committed an abortion, there is a penalty. This is so true. I have numerous people, several people that have come to tell me what their problem is. And when I check, I see that their problem is that they committed an abortion. Many of them will never give birth again until they give, do what they have to do. Many of them, it's blocked their road of wealth. I have seen a man who was doing very well, but when the spirit kicked, it becomes his life changed overnight. He started seeking for solution. So many times, the people you accuse to be the problem behind your, your predicament, might really be innocent check yourself very well our forefathers were so wise they embraced nature they knew that there is something that is called nature that these natures leaves yes they know that the nature leaves that was why they seek knowledge regarding deities why you are passing through what you are passing through today is because these deities were promised. There was a promise that your forefathers made. Not knowing that there will at any point in time be a change of religion. They felt that they are, there will continue to be. There will be a continuous um, um, practice of tradition. So they continued with what they knew best how to handle. They seek knowledge. They embrace these deities. And they promise the deities that from generation to generation, these deities will be taken care of. These deities will be will be will be will, will never be abandoned. And these deities will never be destroyed. This is why many of you are suffering today. Go and do your research, trace back and find out if your ancestral spirit is affecting you today. It is because of the promises that was made. Find out. It will pay you when you do. Then, one thing is to find out 
another is to know exactly what you want to do about it. Nature is never evil. If nature is evil, we won't be drinking water. We won't be crying out water. When we urinate, it is still water. As a new baby, it is still water that protects the baby in the womb. Without water, once the water breaks and the woman has not given birth, an urgent caesarean session is not performed on, on the said woman. The baby might die. Infection. A lot of things will happen to the baby. Have you seen the power of water? If someone is dying, if you like, bring all the food in the world. Just water can save. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man can take water and stay alive. When you want to apportion blames, please do your research very well. Your ancestors might be the problem that you are facing. When you keep talking ill about them, they are hearing you because they are spirits. Many of them are now among the decision makers. Therefore, when you are talking, please be careful. Filter your words before speaking ill of your ancestors. Now, that being said, I have come to teach you something that you have to do. For the angry spirits in your fatherland to seize their anger towards you. If you have said evil against them, if you have done any evil against them, against Mother Earth, against your ancestors, come with me. This is Kola Not. not. We call it Ojiobu. This is Kola Not. Ojiobu. This one is not used for any spiritual work. You offer it as a whole. You do not break it. Go and look for this Kola Not. Get palm oil. Put this palm oil on your left palm. Add salt, mix it together. Take this cola nut, rub it on it while standing barefooted in front of your father's land in the village. This one must be done in the village, not in the city. When you are done, you speak, when you are, when you are turning it on the oil and salt, you speak that your ancestors are you and you are your ancestors because you came through their loins. Whatever way you have said evil against them, they should forgive you. Whatever you have said against the Mother Earth, let their anger remain calm. They should forgive you. After you are done, saying everything the way it is, then you throw it out. Throw it out in front of the, that's front of the compound. Throw it there turn back and go you can do this every one week or any time that you feel like they will visit you for you to know that they have forgiven you you will see the signs you can tell them to show you signs that they have forgiven you you will know that there is power in nature all right thank you very much i still remain your one and only Alma. God bless you all and see you guys in my next one. Bye.